What's up, people? Quick tutorial on how to do the gyroscope because Bongo from the Discord server asked for it while we're at it. Uh, join our Discord. Um, just gonna remove it real quick. Okay, there we go. How do you build it? Well, you need to uh, have a, a structure that holds it. I use glass beams here. You can obviously uh, decorations use mimics uh, for the beam itself and just uh, position them into uh, s some solid block so, so that they show, don't show up. I might do that later, but for now glass is good enough. Then you need the movement. For that you want a sub-object right here in the center. Everything uh, will be around uh, this block here. This is basically the center block where uh, the green one is right now. But uh, you can put your stuff off center slightly. This is our uh, the first spin block, then you just uh, put down a temporary block and make our second spin block. And this is the one where we actually attach the mimic to. You can use mimics, but in this case I will just use the decorations menu. Uh, there I put the jet combustor I think I used. Yeah, that's the one and uh, stretch it out. I'm using the Advanced Mimic UI mod, by the way. Definitely recommend it, it's so useful. Scale that up to like five, five, two. No, oh, we can go bigger. The seven, seven, two. Yeah, that, that one looks good. Um, give it some white color. And there we go, that's basically it. Um, then we just uh, set uh, the spin rate, I uh, recommend doing for the bottom one first. Just give it an idle spin rate, why are you not moving, ah yeah, here. Continuous spin rate here, and then uh, do the same thing here. I recommend uh, using slightly different uh, spin rates, so uh, there's no pattern, the, the, the movement is more random because otherwise it will just repeat itself all the time if you have exactly the same uh, spin rate. And that's pretty much it. You then go into sub-objects mode. Uh, and uh, there are, uh, you have uh, six axes, like vertical, up, down, horizontal, left, right, and horizontal, front, back. And I recommend you use uh, each of these axes once. So one of them is at the top, one of them is at the side, and one of them is at the front, and uh, obviously you need to change uh, the, the 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 size of the ring so that they uh, don't collide. But I'll leave that to you. And uh, personally, I recommend what I used is uh, different speeds for the different uh, blocks so that uh, the inner ones move slightly faster than the outer ones because it looks better. And also, once again, so that the, the patterns don't repeat. Uh, uh, yeah, and. Last but not least, I have, uh, f for the center, I have this thing, it's basically just a piston. I put them on a piston so that the collisions don't, uh, uh, so that it doesn't collide with the spin blocks. It's just a, a piston with uh, a bunch of lights on all six sides. You put that in there somewhere so it uh, lights up the inside of the, the moving parts a bit. and. Uh, Obviously, if you remember on the original one, I have just two rings and uh, in the middle I have this crystal moving about a bit. Like so. The cr oh my god, my, my game is lagging now a bit. Uh, the, the crystal in the middle uses, if you go into the Mimic uh, UI there, um, it uses nuclear material, this one. That's what it look, looks like and it just uh, uses multiple of them merged into each other for the central crystal. Um, yeah, um, There are uh, nuclear, uh, uh, a ton of uh, blocks uh, with that are called nuclear, like nuclear reactor and uh, stuff, uh, because the devs were thinking about nu putting nuclear reactors in the game, but uh, don't, and uh, that's never going to happen, so don't get your hopes up, unfortunately. <laughs> Very sad. But yeah, at least we get the blocks to play around with mimics, and that's 
basically how you do it. Like I said, uh, change the, the speeds of the rotating bits a bit and change the sizes of the rings. And uh, that's how you make one of these gyroscope thingies. Bongo, good luck with your build.